Ah. You came before? But you came before? No, no. I, I. First time? Mm -hmm. First time? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Could you please come closer around the table? As we say here, we will have a demonstration, a demo, how they are making paper in the ancient Egyptian time. So we have here one of our local guys. Her name is Mrs. Zizi, and she will help us to understand how they are making those paper in the ancient Egyptian time. But before I explain anything, I would like to tell you that she studied Egyptology same like me. But she don't like to be working as a guide outside in the hot weather and speaking too much in the Egyptian music. And she preferred to stay here in an air-conditioned area, in a nice place. She give explanation for only 10 minutes and then she go back home and rest. Oh. While I'm working, I'm bothering myself all the day. That's why when you take a look on the streets, you didn't see a lot of ladies are working outside. Because we appreciate women, we consider them that pretty part of our life and that's why we usually appreciate them and keep them in shade in a nice place in a nice air condition while we are the people who are working very hard outside i envy her <laughs> so she will give us the information how the ancient egyptian people transfer transferring houses nice this one which is a piece of reed and papyrus it's a reed not but not every reed is papyrus this one here is a reed and grow by itself in the northern part of Egypt. How they transferred it to become a nice piece of art like this. After she finished ex 